So I've got a minor update on my 3D printable keyboard switch. Uh, and I was screwing around earlier while I waited for some of my TPU springs to print, trying various sizes, thicknesses, and whatnot. And I thought to myself, wait a minute, I bet this wedge would fit right between two lengths of filament. And it does, and it's got a really great spring mechanism. It's really smooth, it's almost frictionless. Um, and if I, I mean, I can launch it. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of what the spring is like. And I've been working on miniaturizing this um, part here. Um, I, and my first attempt is here, here. Uh, I actually mixed up, this is supposed to be the bottom and that's supposed to be the top, but um, I mixed them up a little bit when I um, did the spring. So as you can see, the top, the bottom here is actually wider than the top, which is it's basically just supposed to be the opposite. I have no idea which just flew away. It's a wire actually. But it seems to work. Um, and now I just gotta, you know, make a whole bunch of tests like this. Obviously I gotta fix the top and the bottom. I might need to get rid of the pig, the, the hole for the pin that goes in the middle there. That's so it can be like a Cherry MX. You just shove a little pin in there and then, then it will act just like a Cherry MX. But in order to bring these closer together, I might need to do away with that or work out some other mechanism to mount it, you know, probably like a bottom cap or something. Um, but basically I just need to get the um, angle right. And it should work no matter what. As long as it's PETG, smooth PETG filament, it should be... Um, it should work well as a spring mechanism. Um, and it's so smooth. Uh, this one is actually... There's actually a, a, quite a resistance there, but I think that's because these are too far apart at the bottom here. If I put those close... Basically, I need to swap these and just print out a whole bunch of different experiments, different distances. And I bet I should, I should be able to get it, um, you know, much less resistance than that, but it does work. Uh, and by the way, how I've attached that... Using the super lube on this, by the way. Um, I just took a lighter to the very tip of one piece of filament, and I just, you know, melted it a little bit, and then I crammed it against that right there, squashed it, and that makes that gives you the bottom part. And when you're done, you can put this on; it'll snap together. This is, you know, they're just flush fit right now, but eventually they'll snap together. And then when you're done with that, you can actually just take some flush cutters or something and just snip them right off. And that's how that will work, with ultimately. And yeah, that's the plan anyway. Like I said, I just got to get the um, springiness experiments done so I know just how much... Because the ideal is to get 64, 67 grams of force before actuation and that actually it's 67 grams and then have the tactile feel and actuation all at once and I want the uh, tactile feel to start pretty much right at the beginning too like right at like 0.5 millimeters so that's the plan anyway and this is actually really smooth um, it's a lot of resistance but that's only it starts out really smooth and then it, it gradually increases but that's only because I've got these too far apart um, and inside this piece here it's actually got angled bits. You can see that, maybe. Yeah, grab with the pliers. That's actually like a 20 degree angle. And I did a 20 degree angle because I thought that that would be pretty weak to start, but it's actually quite strong. But that might, like again, that might just be because these are too far apart. We'll see, needs lots of experiments. I'll be printing out a whole bunch of these tomorrow.